What's up, YouTube? Today, we're going to go over a Leap Max piece. One that I actually already went over before. It's called a Smoke and Mirrors Magic Shop. Now, if you have this piece, or you've seen this piece, or you've seen reviews on this piece, you know that there's a rabbit that pops out of the chimney with that little, some kind of magic hat or whatever. And it's extremely loud. And it comes out every five seconds. So yeah, that is a deal breaker for me. Complete deal breaker. So if you've seen some of my other Leemax videos uh, from last year, you might notice that I do some custom pieces. You know, I'll take some Christmas pieces and I'll like cut and chop and paint and uh, turn them into Halloween pieces. So it didn't bother me too much. I'm trying to disassemble this one and try to figure out, you know, how to get that rabbit to chill out a little bit. So disclaimer, you know, I am not a licensed professional, you know, I'm not a Lee Max, uh, fixed rubber guy. Um, and I do not condone, you know, taking this, uh, this thing apart, you know, it's got electricity in it. You know, it could kill you, could start a fire, you burn your house down. So yeah, don't, don't do what I do. Um, this is just for informational purposes. Um, I'm sure there's a disclaimer somewhere. Um, I didn't read it, but I'm sure it's there someplace. So, uh, I've kind of tinkered with, uh, you know, electronics my whole life, you know, um, taking apart all my toys when I was a kid. And you never even had a slinky? We had part of a slinky, but I straightened it. So, uh, I went to school for computer technology and cybersecurity. You know, that's what I got one of my degrees in. So I was in that phase where I was building computers for a while. So. I do have a little bit of knowledge, you know, circuit boards and wiring and all that junk. And, uh, but yeah, this is just uh, me trying to fix the rabbit. So uh, this is not a how-to video, you know, so don't do it. Uh, there's actually uh, a little piece in the soundtrack, you know, that kind of describes what I'm doing here. I'll show you the box while it's playing. Okay, let's tear this thing apart. So right here we got the side of the building. And there is the culprit. Yeah, crazy rabbit. The rabbit's gotta go. So I was trying to figure out how to get to the bottom of it. Um, so I decided to take that piece off. The little chimney part that the rabbit comes out of. Um, it came apart pretty easy. You know, just use a screwdriver, pop it off. Looks like it's just glued on there. Uh, here's another shot. Um, had to push the rabbit down in order to get the chimney to come off. Now you got to be careful. Or not you. I had to be careful with uh, the wires. You know, the only thing that's holding that thing up is a wire. So kind of set it on the rabbit. There's a little mechanism. That pops that rub, rabbit out. Hate that rabbit. And I took off the chimney. Got to be very careful with those wires. Those wires um, feed those two lights on the top. And there is the noise. That is the culprit. So if you're squeamish and you don't want to see this piece destroyed, uh, look away. Look away now. Um, I was hoping I could get in through that window. I couldn't. The window was glued shut pretty good. So I tore it apart and I uh, used some tin snips <laughs> to kind of open it up. I could fix it later. I, I work on uh, custom Lee Max pieces all the time for my village. Um, that piece would not come apart, that one section, unless I took the entire building apart piece by piece. And uh, they're not really made to go come apart, you know, once you, once you put them together that first time. So inside, there's a motor. And um, I figured that switch right there would disable the motor. So uh, I clipped that, tried it, 
and no that switch is um, to turn the light on whenever the rabbit pops out it's pretty smart actually so the thing will come down hit that switch once it pops off then the light will come off hmm. pretty ingenious actually so I had to go into the bottom I had to take off all those little rubber thingies take those screws off there's eight screws and these little tabs oh my god these are not really made to come apart those are so brittle half of them did not go back on once i put it together here is the circuit board you can see that one power cord right there came apart um, when i when i took the bottom off it's uh there's not a lot of room to work with with the, the cords see there's a the one that i snipped but all that was was a light switch to turn the light on when the rabbit pops out. So there was another um, power feed that went to the motor right here. And sadly, that motor is the same one, you know, the motor that, that works for the, the rabbit is the same motor that does those two little yellow and black spinny things. So sadly, I had to get rid of those. I wanted the light to work on the rabbit, so I spliced it into another light. That little roof just came off real easy. Just glued. So here's what it looks like now that it's all back together. Be welcome in the sweet canoe magic shop. 